How's it going everybody? I'm Darren with the Muzzleloaders.com YouTube channel, your source for all things black powder. Today we're going to be talking about the accessories that you're going to need to shoot a flintlock muzzleloader. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit the like button on this video, click subscribe for more awesome black powder content, and let's get into it. This is part three in a four part series that's gonna help you decide what accessories you need. So first let's talk about loading accessories and number one on that list, you're gonna need a pan primer. So what a pan primer is, is it's a small tool that allows you to distribute the pan powder into the flintlock pan. Number two, you're gonna need a powder measure and there are lots available right now. My personal favorite is the brass powder measure, but really any of them are gonna work for you. Number three, you're going to need a powder flask and what a powder flask is going to do is it's going to allow you to move the powder from the powder container into a cylinder that has a spout on it and then it's much more easier to distribute that into your powder measure. Number four is a bullet starter and I recommend those for two reasons. Number one is it just makes it much easier to load the bullet into the barrel and number two, it saves the life on your field rod so it ultimately you end up saving money in the long run so you don't have to replace your ramrod as fast. Now into cleaning accessories, and cleaning is one of the most important parts of muzzle loading. It's really important that you make sure you have the correct solvent and tools, because that's going to drastically increase the longevity of your muzzle loader. And improperly cleaning your muzzle loader can cause rust and pitting in the barrel, which can be dangerous and hurt your accuracy. Number one is a cleaning rod, and the reason I recommend this is because with the traditional muzzle loaders, usually you get a wooden ramrod, which works very well for loading. However, it can be kind of flimsy, in the strenuous process of cleaning. So I definitely recommend picking up a range rod because that's going to be much more durable and help you out a lot during the cleaning process. Number two is a cleaning jag. And this is important because you want something that's gonna grip the patch firmly so it comes back out when you pull the ramrod back out. Number three is cleaning patches. And those are important because that is how you're going to distribute and swab out the black powder residue. Number four is a citrus-based or water-based cleaner. You really just gonna wanna make sure that you stay away from anything petroleum based because that's going to react with the black powder, turning it into kind of like a sludge and not clean the barrel very well. Number five is bore butter. And the great thing about bore butter is it is excellent for seasoning barrels. So when you're done cleaning, I definitely recommend taking some bore butter and rubbing it on the outside and inside of the barrel just to help prevent rust from building up while in storage. Number six, we have brass brushes. And brass brushes are important because they're going to break up the hardened fouling that is inside of the barrel. And brass brushes do have a tendency to wear out, but they're very inexpensive, so I'd recommend picking up a few of them. Number seven is a nipple pick. And I will tell you, nipple picks have saved my life on more than one occasion at the range and out in the field. So I definitely recommend picking one of those up. If you have any obstruction in your flash hole, that is going to take care of it right away. Now on to the projectiles and propellant. So first you're gonna need some round balls and they are pretty standard. You can get them from pretty much any brand that you like. Some people also like to buy molds and mold their own. So that is totally an option you can do as well. Number two is shooting patches. And one thing you're gonna wanna note about shooting patches is if you plan to take your muzzle loader to a rendezvous, there are a lot of rendezvous that do not allow pre-lubricated shooting patches. So you may just wanna grab some unlubricated shooting patches and lubricate them at home yourself with something that the rendezvous approves. Number three, we have powder and we recommend using an FFG equivalent black powder or black powder substitute. Personally, we've had excellent results with Pyrodex Select and 777, but a lot of it's going to rely on your own personal preference as well as availability. So number four, you're gonna need some flints. There's a lot of different flints you can use. We actually have some authentic 17th century flints on our website right now, so I definitely recommend checking those out. Number five, we have jaw pads, and essentially that is a piece of leather that helps grip the flint. And number six, we have FFFFG powder. So that's 4FG powder, and that is the powder that you're gonna use to prime the flintlock pan. Now, they do not make a black powder substitute in 4FG, so you're gonna have to get true black powder. We recommend going with either Swiss or Schutzen powder. Now, I know we covered a lot of information in this video, so if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can give our customer service team a call. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video.